Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 63 of my Elden Ring playthrough. So we have finally met Vanny, who was in fact Vinny, the most unoriginal superhero name ever invented. But I still wasn't convinced that the two were the same people, so I guess it worked. Anyway, um, between last episode and this, we've done basically nothing. We've had a quick look around to see if we can find a route down into a cellar. I found a potential location that maybe you could go down, but there's a dragon in the way. Um, I've also decided to swap over to the glintstone staff since we're now using three of the spells it boosts. And it boosts them by 15%. And they're kind of the three spells I'm probably going to be using for most of the rest of the playthrough, depending on what we get ice-wise. So I've leveled this up to plus seven. It's the same level as... Uh, my Queen Staff is, um, Queen Demi Human Staff. Uh, I've also leveled this up to 10, so it's just one level off the other weapons. Uh, I didn't have any uh, any more tier 3s, yeah, um, to get this up to plus 9 to bring that any higher. So that's that. Now I have a to-do list. I will paste the to-do list on screen. But long story short, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to drop down and finish exploring the rest of the battlements. And then we'll come back and see if we can do something about that dragon. Now, I've seen that dragon's name. And I'm fairly sure I've seen either a spell or an item while I've been re or looking up my existing staffs and things. That has the same name as it. I can't remember whether or not... It's a very similar name. I can't remember whether it's a spell or whether it's a staff. One of the two has a name that is very similar to it. Okay, we're probably going to lose our horse once we jump down here. So... Interesting place for some bush. But yeah, that's going to be an interesting dragon fight, just because... There's so much in the way. That fight is going to be very, very prone to accidentally running into something when trying to dodge and dying as a result of that. There's our battlements. Not that we can make it down to their safety from here, although if you just ran off here without paying too much attention, you would get yourself killed. I find it suspicious, the lack of something here to stop me. Then again, I find everything this game does suspicious. Nothing should be trusted. Are you alive? If you're not alive, you look like you're going to become alive. What else we got down here? A great big crystal. You're alive. You're dead. Oh, we can't attack. Friend. Oh, you. I am uh, sorry, your worship. I apologize for any offense given. I am Pidia, servant to the Carrion royal family. I am charged with maintaining these ghastly dolls. Oh! Has his attitude changed explicitly because we're now in service of Rena? Is that why he's referring to us as a royal, or is it because we have the staff? Ah. 
Your worship allow me to be of use. Other than the puppets, there are some very fine things up here in this storeroom. Why not pick something out before you go? But please, can you offer poor ill-starred Pythia a little something by way of compensation? If it's runes that you want, I can give you that. What you got? But in horn. Okay, celestial dew. Another map. Another level tier. Craft book. What's that give us? Cold arrows. Was wondering where those were. We still not find a far or a location we can farm the actual um, plants. Ash of war. Car or. Oh. Carian Retaliation. That's, I think, a parry equivalent. Ash of War grants an armament, a magic affinity, and the following skill. Carian Retaliation. Uh, swing the shield to dispel incoming sorceries and incantations, transforming the magic uh, into retali or retaliatory glint blades. Uh, you can also use, or can also be used in the same way as regular parry. That might be a better version of something that I think is already on a shield we have. But I think the Glint Blade Staff boosts the spell version of this. I'm happy to buy some things, but I'm going to need to spend some runes. Give me a moment. We're going to need more than that. This may be a bad idea. Oh no, that might about do it. Let's see, we want that for sure. And we want that. Let's have a ritual pot. That's just a black standard shield. Interesting. That can't be used to cast things, it's just a sword. So the map. Let's have the lava tier and let's have the the dew. I'm guessing we're not allowed to attack here specifically so that we don't accidentally attack him since Every version of those we found so far, bar the one that turned themselves into the pot and immediately talked, attacked us once they knew we were here. Um, I wanted to double check the shield, didn't I? Here it is. Uh, no, that's not the one. There's another one. This one, wasn't it? It wasn't actually, it looks like. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Well, we can't attack, so there can't be any illusionary walls down here. Let's just check these crafting recipes. Here they are. Oh, these ones. Oh, that's magic. Um, these ones. Yeah, they need those buds, which we don't know a location to farm yet. They are still a limited resource. I wouldn't mind some ice and daggers, though. That would be nice. Same reason why we've not been using these. Although we have the spell now, we don't need that. Okay, we got a map. Did we not? Weathered map. A simple... Badly weathered map left to discarded and forgotten by someone. Depicts sparks of amber light. Excuse me while I just move around the microphone to get real close to the screen. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm looking for something that is squarish shape. Basically, I'm looking for the notable thing, which is that kind of shape. The sparkles of amber light could be something that happens at a specific time of day. Maybe it's pointing to that, but that wouldn't make sense. There was also some kind of long structure or, ver or pathway or something. That's going to be a tricky one. How do we get this building up here? Zoom out a little bit so we can move a bit quicker. If it's, or if it's somewhere we've been before, then the problem is going to be that it's very likely to be obscured by these things. Let's just have one more look at this thing. So we have... A road or a river that then widens into a much larger road or river. I think... Now, can you stay up please? There we go. Maybe that's some kind of structure and that's a river? Because it definitely appears to be some kind of cliff face here. Maybe that's underground. I mean, it could be referring to this, and the structure might be up here. I can't see a similarity to anything down there. I imagine much the same over here. There's something st the, I think the most distinctive part is that bottom bit that looks like some kind of curved road that then widens out into something like this is what it then turns into. But it's a curved road that goes into it. So it's not that and it's not this. So it must not be on our map currently. How's the safe way down? Don't want to be going down there. So one other thing I saw, going down there is not going to help us. One other thing I saw while I was looking at exploring around up there. I did notice that, um, I think this is the short, uh, shallowest drop. That still looks fatal. Looks can be deceiving. No, we can make that. So says the glowy rock. Can we stack these? 
For safety's sake, I'm going to stack these. Um, so yeah, I'm aware that there is in fact a giant crab up ahead. There we go, we did equip it. Which may be... there it is. Because I could see that from up there while I was having a look off. We still don't have many uses for slumbering eggs. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to where that great big orb was. Because I think the orb was up there. We'll find out in a minute. Sorry, I couldn't be bothered to deal with it in such a small space. Just a stone sword key. Valuable, but it's still just a stone sword key. Okay, we need to get off before we can summon. Are we going to be attacked by magic now? The attacks have ceased. Oh! Maybe it was EEG that was attacking us. The resting place of the contemptible cuckoos lost in the siege of Caria, Caria Manor. Oh, it is Caria Manor. I need to edit some of my um, notes. Because I, I, it's the Carian Royals via Caria Manor. I thought I'd spelled Caria wrong whenever I put the manor down. So I need to now go back through my notes to correct all of those. It's a good job I haven't actually um, transferred last week's worth of um, episode information. Well, my fellow, how may I serve you? As war counsellor or as blacksmith? I just want to talk. Oh, you can give me more information. It's useful. Tell me about, um, I want to say Bad Eagle, it's not. It's, um, Blythe. Blythe is Lady Rani's stepbrother. Oh. Rani's mother, Queen Renala, approved of him, and they played like siblings from childhood. They were always happy to have me tag along as well. When Lady Rani renounced her flesh and chose the dark path of the Empyrean, Blythe and I swore allegiance as vassals. But none of us will ever forget our earliest days together. Promise to look after Blythe for me, will you? The man is honest to a fault. But fortunately, now he has you. I will do what I can. He certainly seems the honourable type. Purchase. I think you had option to purchase before. Ah, oh, yeah, just some of Smith and Stone. Ah, oh, this is where we got that from. I take it you've heard of the eternal city of Noxtella? Yes. Well, it has a twin known as Nokron, the other eternal city. After years of expeditions, we've determined the location of Nokron. By going underground, through the well in the mistwood of Limgrave, you can see Nokron up above. Only we failed to find a path leading to the city. Blythe's made a good go of it, but I'm afraid this has him quite stumped, to be honest. I'm not sure where to go from here. Well, one of the plans today is to go down there. Um, we're not going to... That's probably going to be fairly abridged um, when we get down there because we've already fully explored that area. 
so a lot of it's retreading ground so we will trip or trim out things unless we think we've found something new anyway we have a dragon to go find and kill <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this just because I can't figure out a good approach for him. Let's keep that ready. We'll be ready to... Um, she can't move. If I summon her, then she's going to die pretty swiftly. You're plus three. Let's... I think Stormbird might be the better option. I can probably put her down in a place that she's always going to be able to shoot at him. But the second he targets her, she can't evade. She's a, she's a turret. And she doesn't have a massive amount of health. So jellyfish. Let's go with let's actually go with Aurelia. Aurelia should be able to be of some help here. So let's make sure we're prepared. I want Poison darts. I want resistance to magic. You have better eyesight than I was giving you credit for, friend. It's a bit disingenuous of me to call you friend. I'm about to attack you. Nevertheless, you are a friend until our battle is begun. Just don't stop thinking of me of food. I'm not food. Okay. See me? That's fine. Whoa, okay, that's a spell or an attack I was not expecting. the crystals. Does it always attack to the right? Don't overcommit stuff. We're not done with you. <laughs> Eyes all around, eyes all around. Oh no, it left. Hmm. Uh. 
Okay. This was this point that we thought that maybe there was something underneath here? No. Because this was the only place I couldn't get close to. do a bunch of damage to all of this stuff. I wonder if there's anything it deliberately does damage to. I you have to um I you have to attack it in order for it to break something. even see a location that looks like it could potentially go down into a cellar. Then it's not necessarily here that we're looking for. Okay, the dragon flew off in this direction. So we should expect that it will be back. Okay, so we're going to now make uh, make use of the second part of the um, message. That told us there's a dirty secret. That a graven witch appears there at night. Or Graven Witch appears there. I'm just going to wander up here. Because I think this is supposed to be something to do with the moon. But the moon is over there. Maybe I would need to cast the moon spell. Good lord, we're 30 minutes in already. We're probably not going to get through the entirety of my list. Did you come back, dragon? Or are you actually now gone gone? You're gone, gone. Okay. Graven Witch. made me jump. Go away. I need to be paying attention for sounds.
a couple of buildings near his house, his tower. I don't think any of these are actually hidden in the ground. in the belfries that I can see in the distance over there. Well, since we're here, we'll ask him, see if we can ask him what the potion does. Hello, pompous pick. I've no time for idle chit-chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Then off you trot. I have enough on my plate. Hmm. Now there's a character we haven't found that's usually in these games. We found patches. Why haven't we found... Hmm. Where's our Onion Knight? Unfortunately, I don't know his name. Okay, so we have a bunch of other things on the list. Let's go quickly talk to Selina. Since, again, it's a nice short one. And it's in the direction of where we're going anyway. You can't happen to identify a potion, can you? That's not a dialogue option that has been programmed into you, is it? There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? It's not. Lesai. We've still not found the person we need to... We've still not found the person we need to talk to to get your quest, quest progressing. I thought it was Trop. Apparently it's not. Okay. Wait, isn't it? Oh, that's why, because that's not a sight of grace. <laughs> that is a marker, not a sight of grace. I was trying to figure out why I couldn't teleport there. One thing that cu or has me scratching my head, I am aware of an item referred to as the Meteorite Staff, but I have never seen it, and apparently it's, it's supposed to be a really good early game staff. At least I assume that is, given that the Meteorite Staff is the staff that pretty much all other staffs get compared to. So like all the earlier game staffs get compared to, so I've got to assume it is, in fact, an early game staff. But I'm damned if I know where it is. Lied, are you here or are you downstairs? This is always a pretty trip down, so we'll leave this in and then we'll start cutting content. different. I don't remember seeing a vision of the top of this area. I 
I remember seeing this. Maybe I do remember seeing that little bit up there. Okay, now we need to find out where Blyde is. He's got to be down here. I reckon that's just a cliff face, as much as it looks like it could be something else. But we are going to investigate. Anyway, I'll report if and when I find something. Or I die. Whichever comes first. I found our wolfie boy. They spawn behind us, don't they? Hey there. Ah. Oh. Good to see you. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nokron right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways. To no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. I like your plan. I like your plan a lot. I'm on your side on this regard. I jest. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? I imagine that's the last line of dialogue, but we'll ask again. Yeah, it's up there. I think probably part of it is up there as well. Leave this place to me if either of us... And if we reach it, Celebus rarely gives a straight answer. <sighs> God damn it. I hate it when they start with basically the same thing and then they have something else at the end of it. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? And if we reach a dead end, I suppose we go back to the source. Celebus rarely gives a straight answer. The first time. Hmm. Uh, can I get back up there? Because I don't trust the turn rate of this thing. I want to land on that. Is that the highest place that I can get to from this angle? I think so. That's what I was looking for. And there's a couple of them though. They look very suspiciously like the bottom end of that. Which is how we got down here. Or that's for over there. Which does give me the distinct impression that there very well may be a way down from the top in that region over there. It's assuming he wants to be down there and not over there. If he wants to be over there, then that's a bigger problem. But that looks like a bridge. A missing bridge, but a bridge nonetheless. God, it's pretty down here. Okay, um... Where was that teleport? That teleport was here. Now it'll take us up to here. 
wasn't it? Oh no, that takes us up to here. Now to get us a little bit closer so we can figure out it's like whether or not that's the way down or the way there. Either way, it's going to give us another angle to look at. We just need to be mind mindful of the fact that we are heading towards snipers. Okay, let's get up there. I must remember that when I um, start recording, I always make a cup of tea. Okay, no, they're not going to do it. They drop down over here. So they're not helpful. But that's what I think has to be the case. We can make a run over here and see if we can spot one. We've run that path before, so... Let's just have a quick look. Uh, yeah, from here. So I'll see you over there. I'll see you somewhere over there that has a vantage point. So maybe... Maybe not skip anything, because we haven't seen all of this area yet. This area is fairly nasty. We have a vantage point from here, but we can get a better one. Be mindful of dragons. That's not a dragon, that's just a big dog. You're a dead dragon. Please stay dead. I'd very much appreciate it if you didn't come back to life. Oh yeah, this place isn't spooky and filled with nasty things at all. Let me know what that material is. Just what I needed. Bad weather. We're up here to see if we can see things. But the visibility. Are we looking in the right direction? Not quite. Over here. Hopefully the doggos don't see me, but they may do and this may get me killed. Hang on a second. Why didn't I just go straight over there? I'm being silly. There's a great... There's a freaking sky hawk thing over there. If I want to find something, that would be the best place for it. Okay, let's make it noon. Try and get rid of the weather, make sure we have good visibility. Pass time till noon. Okay, this is what we're after. No, if you're doing that, I don't think you're coming my way. Okay. We're looking for a very distinct kind of building. Take your time, don't rush it. You may simply sweep over it if you're not taking your time.
Okay, there's Dragon Boa. Okay, it doesn't look like there is a building. Although there is one of these, and that area over there is too far away. If it was going to be anywhere, it should be somewhere around about here. Is there a location around here that we don't actually have line of sight on? Hmm, Iron Maiden. That was from directly above us, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah. It would have to be over here. South west. Things aren't built, or the thing we're looking for isn't going to be big, but still. I don't want to get too close to that thing because I don't know whether or not. I don't think that applies to him. I think he's looking to get here. face. Doggy still wants to follow us. Yeah, I'm not seeing a location that would be viable. Also not seen where are we relative to oh god damn you leave me be i want to know where the drop down is to this cave i wonder where the entrance to that is we never found it okay let's i don't want to do that i don't want to give her potion without knowing what the potion is going to do. It's certainly not going to ask Gideon for permission because he's probably going to say he doesn't give a shit. I have a thought, but it's not one that I am particularly willing to go about attempting. I assume you're not going to let speak to me at all. I have no time for that. The only thing I will hear from you. Are we under... I have enough. Ask about Nokron. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. The letter of introduction is entirely unnecessary, but I am finally glad to have found the progression point. 
Um, wrong button. I just want to quickly see if Gideon has anything to say about him. And likewise, I, I'm going to have a word with Nafelu. Nafelalu. Journey to the capital, laying down the two fingers. You may be out. How's he good the medallion? There we go. Is that portion what I think it is? Bloody Salavis. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. But I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Or would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? Thank you, game. You gave me an impossible choice between two bastards that cannot be trusted. That said, this one is at least polite to me. Good. I'll dispose of the potion myself. You go and see Salavis, but don't give anything away. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion, as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own arse he won't suspect a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold. <laughs> okay, you've, you've redeemed yourself slightly. Here's the thing about him. He definitely has an agenda and he will do whatever he wants or whatever he can to see that agenda through. But he's not an arsehole. He's open about that fact. No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. Oh! This is for you! Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. Interesting. Why does she get the Stormhawk's ash? I'm not like Broderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. Do you have anything else? In this ash. I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first hawk. Okay. Note to self, come back and speak to her. Before that... <laughs> this episode's gonna run long because we've now been given a half a dozen people to talk to. <laughs> we have to go back to Celebus. Because he might now teach us sorceries. And then we have to go see Celine. It's been so long, we can finally progress her quest. We know he has a dirty secret, we just don't know where it is. So you made Nefeli drink the potion. Well done. You are a touch more useful than I had thought. Very well. Then you shall have your gift. Knowledge of the sorceress arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor Salavis. I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a mere tarnished, but if you put your mind to it, perhaps you won't embarrass our lady. You are very much a pompous prick. I am on Gideon's side in this regard. You wish to begin right this moment? Well, your impatience, though boorish, is understandable. Let's have at it. Ah, there's Phalanx. There's the spell retaliation. Here is our ice spells. 
We need... <laughs> 20,000? 30,000? We need a lot of souls. We're going to buy all the spells before we um, potentially risk giving away the game. Do we actually have enough? Oh damn it, we didn't use use them all. Okay. We may actually go through all of these. We've been holding on to them for so long. Begin Let's see if that's enough. Ugh, okay, the ones we want first. Damn it, we're a thousand short. So, you had Nefeli drink the potion? Truly? Hmm. Then perhaps something was amiss with it. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. I may have expected too much of her to begin with. What was it supposed to do? Give you control over her? Uh, we can't sell things to him. Note to edit yourself, there is a spell here we need to get between now and next episode, so we need to get the soul split. Okay. We also need to swap over the spells we're using so that we can equip the ice ones. At least some of our spells. No point trying to be an ice mage if we don't actually equip our ice spells. None of ice spells. Ice Crag, and then Ice Mist. Now we just need to know whether or not we can get a staff that will give us Ice Spells. That's fairly slow. Okay, we can charge it for a much bigger area of ice. Can we charge this one? No, well we can spam it. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Show letter of introduction. Well, well. Solivus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice. I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family and the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement and so too would Rani's destiny. Interesting. So we need to go talk to Blyde now because he will then come with us to take on General Radan, who I believe is in the, um, ah, Caleb Wilds. You wish to continue very well. You're over there, so from here. Can I trim this episode down beneath an hour? We'll see.
We have a plan. Ah. Well met. What news? Tell Selene's story. Hmm. So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Starsgur's Radan. That reminds me of something I heard. There's a festival being held at the castle on the southern edge of the Caled Wilds, east of Limgrave. It's a festival of combat. And I heard that you can fight Radan himself. He who was once called the strongest of all the demigods. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I think it's worth investigating. I'll be on my way to this festival of Radan. So will I. And I'm going to bring along a friend. I am going to bring along Alexander. But before we do that, we need to make sure we kill the boss that's in the way, because I think he's stuck there until we do. You're coming too, right? To Radan's festivities. I'll meet you at Redmain Castle in Caled. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fang. I'm with you, brother. Okay. That doesn't, strictly speaking, progress... Sorcerer Selene's story, though. Oh! Alexander's moved. Did he move because we progressed this, or did he move for other reasons? I'm, I'm liking how everything, or all the stories appear to be tied together. I'm just going to do a couple of things. I'll strip them out if there's nothing there, and then we'll sign off. Um, that'll be the plan, at least. Okay, so a bunch of busy work and I found nothing. So we'll end the episode here for the week. This should be the last one of the week, I believe. Okay, um, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We will start exploring the Caelid Wilds tomorrow. Not tomorrow, next Monday. Next Monday. Tomorrow is Monday for me. It's not for you. So yeah. Our goal is going to be get over to Redmain Castle, which I believe is this one here. So we have plenty to explore along the way. We have the Mine Word Tree. We have to go down here and kill a boss. Alexander has gone. We've made... I don't know, maybe we've made progression on... Celine's storyline? We've at least spoken to her a little more. We still don't know how to get up here. Actually, no. Scratch everything I just said. We still have this area to explore, this area to explore, and this area to explore. Basically, this entire area to explore. So that's what we'll do on Monday. And then, once we've got all of that done, we'll head to the Caled Wilds. Maybe we'll poke our head through here, get to the other side. We'll see. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully, I will see you next time. Cheerio.